Hello, welcome to Morning Gal, your channel for healthy inspiration. Today we'll be making a high protein plant based lentil salad in 4 easy steps. First step cut the crunchy veggies and parsley into small pieces. Add the cooked lentils. Third, prepare and add the dressing. Fourth, serve with big pita chips. And that's it, you're ready to roll. I highly recommend using crunchy vegetables because they really enhance the texture of the salad. I'm taking here half each of a crunchy cucumber, an avocado, an orange pepper, an onion and a handful of cherry tomatoes. For enhancing the flavor, I'm also adding a handful of parsley. Now I'm just going to finely chop them up. Here comes the cooked lentils. This is three cups of cooked lentils. You can either boil one and a half cups of uncooked lentils or rinse and use two cans of cooked lentils. I'll be mixing the veggies up so they mix up evenly and then I'll be adding the lentils and mixing them up again. Let's make our simple dressing. For this, we'll be using one tablespoon each of honey or maple syrup, apple cider vinegar, coconut oil, two tablespoons of hummus, two whole garlic and chili, and some ginger and lemon juice. In the middle of your mundane tasks, have you paused to appreciate the simple things? Here's your reminder to do that. I'm adding a nail sized piece of orange skin for some brightness. Trust me, it won't be bitter. I'm also adding some turmeric, which works well against inflammation. You can add some water to loosen the dressing up, and then I'm blending it up. Now, all you have to do is combine the salad and the dressing. I'm adding some chopped nuts for healthy fat and more texture, whole raisins for sweetness, and chilling the salad before serving. I'm 
plating this chilled salad with some olive oil and some lemon juice. I recommend eating the salad with some baked tortilla chips. I made these chips recently and they are unbelievably crunchy. Do give them a try. The recipe for this will be available very soon in my channel so subscribe to get notified. Now I'm adding some za'atar seasoning which is a Mediterranean seasoning. It's optional. There you go, an easy, healthy and delicious meal idea that anyone with food restrictions can enjoy. Do give it a try and let me know how you like it in the comments. This is Sai from Moringal signing off. See you in the next video. Bye bye.